Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. On this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use type with smart objects to create some really interesting warped designs of type. So, first thing to do, obviously, is create the type. So, I'm just going to area type, just select that. I'm just going to use Jill Sans MT Bold, but of course, you could use any font you want. Just go to type and paste. So I've just got some text there now. What I'm going to do, click OK, and now layer smart objects and convert to a smart object. So once it's a smart object, I can now go to edit and transform and warp. I'm just going to go for one of the warp options, maybe like flag or wave. Click OK. Now it's still live text, still live text that you can actually go and change if you wish. Also now, I can go to layer, smart objects and convert to smart objects. So that entire warp and also the text is all a smart object. So I can go to edit and transform and warp again. And this time I'm gonna go for say arch. With arch I can actually in increase the bend and I can also do modify the horizontal distortion so I'm just going to just modify that so it really sort of squeezes over at the side and just see that text is really distorted off in that direction click OK now I can actually still continue with this I can actually just go to layer and smart objects convert to smart object and again just go to edit and transform and warp and again now I can actually modify the I'd have to use one of the custom ones. I can actually distort it. So maybe the text bulge out that way. Click OK. Now, this text is still, still accessible. It's still live text, so you can actually still edit the text. Also, you can just go to Edit and Perspective Warp. So you can actually warp this. So I'm just going to add some layout. Just add a few there and another one there. Go to the warp section. So this is actually just warping all this. The whole sort of text can be warped in different ways. And again, it's still live. You can actually see it. Crunch that in. And again, just drag that out. Click OK. So once that's actually done, I can now, of course, still just go to layer and smart objects and convert to smart object. So I can still continue this sort of whole route. Now I can still just go and edit the text, it's still just live text at this point. And I can go to edit and transform and warp again. And this is actually going to be the final warp. So I can actually distort the text over in this direction. Or maybe use one of these custom options as well. Click OK. And of course, what you can do, you've still got a smart object, you've still got it, live text still, and you can apply maybe a drop shadow, whatever. And it's still a layer that you can actually just hold down the Alt key. So I can actually just go over there and select and actually duplicate that text. Maybe a couple of times. And drag that down over there. And so you can actually use smart objects, type, and warp in to create some really surreal and unusual text effects. And all of this text is still live and can be modified. Hope you found this of interest.